Hello and welcome to SkySide. This is the first installment of our short introductory videos into the world of air emission sampling. In this video, I'll briefly describe probably the most important sampling action in the air emission monitoring industry, the sampling of particulate matter from a stationary source. Particulates are commonly known as dust and are produced when fossil fuels are burned. Dust comes in many shapes and sizes. Inhalable coarse particles range from 2.5 micrometers to 10 micrometers in diameter. Dust particles contain other solids or liquid droplets that are so small that they can get deep into the lungs and cause serious health problems. It is because of this health concern that dust sampling is required. This is a simple diagram of a dust sampling train. In this setup, an outstack filter arrangement is being used. This means that the filter that collects the dust is on the outside of the chimney stack or duct. A heating system is used to heat the probe and filter holder, preventing the condensation of the moisture in the sample gas stream. This is done so that the filter doesn't get wet and become blocked. The probe is then inserted into the side of the stack and the nozzle is faced towards the gas flow. The pump is started and gas is pulled into the sampling system. Measurements taken using this sampling arrangement are recorded on a dry basis, in other words, no moisture. The moisture in the gas stream is being removed by the conditioning system, which consists of a condenser pot and silica gel pot. The condenser knocks out water vapor and the silica gel absorbs any remaining moisture. Flow rate is very important when sampling for dust and sampling must be done isokinetically. This means that the sample gas must be pulled into the sampling system at the same rate at which it is being emitted by the source. This is because dust requires force or effort to be pulled out of the source gas stream and into the sample gas stream. For example, if the sampling system is pulling in gas and dust at a rate greater than the source is emitting, then we would be taking in a larger sample of dust than what is actually being emitted by the source. The volume of the gas sample is known and is recorded and corrected to standard temperature and pressure. The mass of the dust sample is determined by drying and weighing the filter, both before and after sampling. The difference in weight gives us the mass of the dust that was collected. And the volume of the gas sample allows us to calculate the concentration of the dust being emitted by the source. And that concludes my simple breakdown. Thank you for choosing SkySide.